Uh, greetings, family. We have our good brother here that just came back on a journey of a lifetime with us. Can you introduce yourself and share some of your experience and your reflections? Yes, my name is Baye DK from Virginia. Uh, my experience, as this is my first experience of coming to Africa, and it's been wonderful from seeing vast mountains to city life to tropical paradise. Um, Tanzania has been a great place to be. Um, the highlights for me were some of everything, just seeing everyone African doing everything, um, from working at hotels, from flying planes, to uh, steering ships, ferry ships. Uh, it's just been a great experience for me. Um, I felt at peace at home. I felt the comfort of home where I could walk at three in the morning on the streets and I wasn't even concerned about any police hurting me or anyone else doing anything to me due to racism. It's been a, a dream to me. Um, I'm still processing it. Uh, I would tell you maybe a month you get back to me. I have a lot of stuff written down to process it, but it's been um, a very humbling experience. Uh, it's been a learning experience from going to the various museums, uh, uh, learning about Jewish Nyeri, uh, learning about uh, Brother Karume at the Revolution uh, Declaration Center, and just the history of Tanzania from the time it went from Tanganyika to Tanzania and then the incorporation of Zanzibar. Um, I, it's, it's a lot going through my mind right now. I can tell you that, but I would tell you that um, African people, you need to come home. You need to see it for yourself because what you see and what you see and that's portrayed on the television is nothing but a lie. When you come to Africa, you are very proud of what we're doing and what we're trying to do. And the hustle, the strength, the fortitude that people in Tanzania have is surpassed what I've seen in my lifetime. Um, I'm so thankful for Brother Bomani for um, bringing me into this. Um, I feel felt at home. Um, he really showed us a great experience about Africa. It wasn't talk. He was all about business, making sure that we were cared for throughout the entire um, excursion. And I just thank him, and I hope that y'all get the guts to come because I'm telling you, you're missing something beautiful. There's nothing I've seen, and I've been up and down the Caribbean for years. Um, throughout the states, U.S. for years, there is nothing that will touch Tanzania or touch Africa. So get ready. The next trip, Ghana 2021. Let's go. Perfect. So, family, so yeah, we do have uh, Ghana and Tanzania as that main connection, which we feel like is a good experience for you. Um, one of the things is we are all supposed to go to South Africa, and, and more of us are saying, you know, we're happy that didn't work out because we was able to just get uh, a more, you know, you know, more um, culturally connected uh, itinerary dealing with more black power nation building. Like, you know, like we see the energy of the government and we talk about the, the building of, of just a uh, straight black power country. I would agree. Um, I was one of those people that's supposed to be going to South Africa and I'm glad that it did fall through. I'll be honest with you because um, it didn't matter to me where we went as long as we went home. Because I always talked about going home. Um, two years from 50, I couldn't wait any longer. So. I'm glad that this experience happened, the situation happened with the collapse of the trip to South Africa that we ended up in Tanzania because it is, it's been a memorial, a memorial experience. Um, and I would tell anyone to go home, check out your bro African brothers and sisters and see what they're doing and see what you can bring to the forefront so you can incorporate yourself into the culture, into the country, into the continent. That perfect brother, you have uh, covered a whole lot, so I uh, appreciate your energy. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was that, that beach resort we're on. It's owned by one of our brothers, and that's what I'm trying to let folks know that uh, we're putting our money together to do you know, things at the higher level. And um, a lot of the footage that we've shown people, you know, I'm going to go around and check with people and see what country they think that we're in. And I'm going to give them a list of countries, and uh, more than likely they're not going to say that this is in Africa. But it's like we're telling people Africa has everything. This is Africa. I blew the Caribbean away. Blew it away. You're going to think it's the Caribbean? Not even close. The, the vast land, the beautiful palms, the beautiful 
trees, the beautiful sand, the beautiful water, the beautiful people. Nah. I, I, if you would have told me six years back that this was in Africa, I would have told you a line. But I saw it for myself. And it's real. And just thank you so much, brother, for mine. I yeah, appreciate your love and support, brother. And um, I do remember us just, uh, talking about this uh, and everything. And I'm happy that it worked out. And this gives us a foundation for something else uh, special. So, family, the journey continues. And appreciate you, brother.